In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a split blend mode headline with Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm gonna come over here to pages, click on add new. So I'm just gonna call my page split, use Divi Builder. Now we're going to build everything from scratch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this. So first things first, let's add our top and bottom padding to our section settings. So I'm gonna come over here to this gear icon, design, and then I'm gonna click on spacing. So over here for the top padding, I'm gonna add zero. Now notice that when I add this chain, it's gonna apply the value also here to the other side. So whatever amount here I add is going to be applied both to the top and the bottom. Next, let's head over here to the box shadow. So so I'm gonna come over here to box shadow and we're going to go with this first option here. So what we need to adjust here is the blur strength. So I'm gonna set this to 70%. And here for the shadow color, you just need to change this from 0.3 2.7. And now it's time to add our new row. So I'm gonna save that, click on this plus button. Now the row we're going to use here is this two equal columns. I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now we're gonna go in and add our gradient background. So I'm gonna start off with coming over here to my row settings, and then I'm gonna click on background. So here we're gonna to go to the second tab and click this plus button to add our first color. Now the colors I'm going to use here can be found in the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below. Go ahead and replace this with my color. I'm gonna add my second color, paste it in here. And now the gradient direction needs to be set to 96 degrees and make sure it's left here on linear. Now it's time to add our background image. So I'm gonna come over here and click on the next tab, click the plus button and choose an image that works for you. So in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one right here. And now take a look at the size here, it's 1600 by 1108. So once you choose your image, click upload an image. And then over here now, this is where you need to make a few adjustments. Make sure that your background image size is set to cover and uh, the image position is also center and no repeat. Now here is the most important part. So the background image blend is normally set at normal, but in this case, we are going to set this to screen. Now let's head over here to design. Now here we need to set our gutter width. So I'm gonna click here on sizing and activate our gutter width and set this to one. Now this gutter width is the space between the two columns. So I'm just gonna make sure it's set to one and that removes all the spaces between the two columns. Next, we need to set equalize column heights to yes. And then our width here needs to be set to 100%. And then the maximum width also needs to be 100%. Next, we need to head over here to spacing because here we need to add our top and bottom padding. So again, this is gonna be zero pixels, both to the top and the bottom. Now the next CSS code I'm going to add is going to make sure that all our columns are going to be next to each other, even on mobile devices. So I'm gonna come over here to advanced, click on custom CSS. And in the main element, this is the CSS code we need. Now, this CSS code can also be found in the post which I'll link to in the show notes below. Now, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and add some settings to our second column. So I'm gonna come over here to content. So this is column one. So we need to come over here into the settings of column two. I'm gonna click on background because over here we need to add our background color and our color here is going to be white. And you can see right away the color has changed to white. Next, we're gonna come over here to the design tab, click on filters, and we are going to change our blend mode here from normal to screen. So pretty much we're done here. I'm gonna save, save one more time. And then over here, we are going to add a divider. So this divider is going to be added to column one. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, search for my divider module and select it. Now here on this option, which says show divider, we're gonna set this to no because we don't really wanna see this divider. Next, we're gonna come over here to design spacing and we are going to add a bottom margin of 50 VW. So now this exposes this image here in the background. So we're gonna save. And then over here in column two, we are going to add a text module. So I'm gonna search for it and select it. And I'm just gonna add some text which just says headline. Now you can name, I mean, you can add whatever heading you want in here. So I'm gonna highlight this and set this to heading one. Now let's go ahead and stylize this. So I'm gonna come over here to design heading text, make sure the heading one tab is selected. And our font here is going to be Poppins. And then we're gonna make this bold. Then next, we're going to add our color here. So this is going to be white. So I'm gonna drag this all the way up there until I get white for our text color. And then 
Over here for our heading size, I'm going to set this to 12 VW. And for the letter spacing, I'm going to set this to minus 0 0.2 VW. Next, let's head over here to spacing. So over here, we just want to make sure our text is slightly centered. So let's start by adding a top margin of 18 VW. And on the bottom, we're going to set this to 2 VW. And then over here, for the left, we're going to set this to minus 27.3. So now you can see it overflowing over here to the first column. Next, we're going to come over here to the filters. And on the filters here, we're going to change our blend mode from normal to difference. So this is what now brings this style over here to the right side. Now I'm going to save. And then over here on column two, we are also going to add another text module. So I'm going to search for it and select it. So you can add whatever text you want in here. So over here on design, I'm just going to go to text and just make sure my font here is set to Poppins and our text color here is going to be black. And then over here on the text size, we're going to set this to 0.8 VW. For the line height, we're going to set this to 2.5. And now it's time to make sure that this is right in the middle. So to do that, we need to come all the way down here to spacing. And we are going to start by adding our margin. So I'm going to start here with my margin to the bottom, which is going to be 1 VW. Margin left is going to be minus 5 VW. And right is going to be 14 VW. So now you can see all our content is right in the middle. So pretty much I'm happy with that. I'm going to save. Next, I want to add another module and uh, it's going to be a divider module here. Select it. And next, we're going to go to the advanced tab. I mean, to the design tab, click on line and we're going to make the line white. So the line style is going to remain solid and the line position is going to be on the top. Now let's head over to our sizing. So over here now, our divider weight is going to be 0 0.7. VW and our width is going to be 9%. And then the height here, instead of leaving it at auto, we're going to set it to zero. Now let's set our spacing. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to start with the top margin. So for the top here, we're going to set it to 2 VW. And on the bottom, we're going to set it to 3 VW. Next, on the left margin, we're going to set this to 5 VW. And then we're going to come over here to the filters and change this from normal to difference. So pretty much that's all we need to do here. I'm going to save. And then it's time now to add our button. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, choose my button module. Now let's head over here to the design tab and set our alignment and our alignment here needs to be set to left. Now let's customize our button. So to customize this button, we have to make sure that we select button and then activate use custom styles for button. So here our text size, let's start with this. So I'm going to set this to one VW and for our text color, we're going to set this to black. Our border radius here, we're going to set this to zero. And for our font, we're going to change this from default to Poppins. And the final thing we're going to do is to head over here to spacing. And here we just need to add our margins. So let's start here with our bottom margin, which is going to be 10 VW. And our left margin is going to be five VW. Next top and bottom padding is going to be 1 VW. Activate my chain and then left and right is going to be 3 VW. So pretty much I'm happy with the design now. I'm going to save this and let's save the page and exit the visual builder. So there we go. So this is our final design. So go ahead, try it out and see how you can use this in your designs. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.